Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some Reflow goodness. And today's goodness involves the relationship between Illustrator and Reflow. There's a little bit of a workflow change between these two applications, which I think is pretty cool. And not a lot of people seem to know about it. So let's take a look at what it's all about. What I've got here is a simple Facebook icon. And all I want to do is actually just get it over to a Reflow page, which is right here. I just want to put it in here somewhere. So I'm going to come back to Illustrator, and let's take a look at how we do that. Now, the conventional way of moving an Illustrator document into an HTML document is to convert it to SVG. And you do that by selecting File, Save As, selecting SVG from the Save As dialog box, clicking Save, and then coming to the SVG Options dialog box, checking out your options, and then, if you want, you can take a look at the code. And this is the code that goes into an HTML document. OK, so I'm going to close this, and I'm going to close this. So I'll just cancel. So here's the workflow. What you do is you select your vectors right there. There's the Facebook icon. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, Command or Control C. And then I'm going to pop over to Reflow, and I'm going to paste. And there it is. And it's an SVG graphic and here's the cool thing about it it maintains all of its graphic formats pretty cool huh now there's another aspect of this that you should be aware of so i'm going to go back to uh, illustrator watch what happens when i choose the logo plus the text which is set in pt songs so if i select control or command c to copy it to the clipboard back over to reflow and i paste command or control v nothing happens and the reason for that is actually over in Illustrator. So we'll just go back to Illustrator. And it's this. It's the text. You cannot copy and paste text across the applications. If you really need to bring uh, the word Facebook in and you don't want to do it in, uh, say, an application like Reflow, well, then you've got to go to Type, Create Outlines, Convert it to a Vector, and then Watch. Copy and paste, Command or Control C, over to Ill over to Reflow, Command V, and there we go. And again, because it's SVG, it's vectors. So there you go. There's a quick little tutorial on moving SVG graphics from Illustrator into Reflow. Now remember, the key to this whole thing is is the graphic. If it's vectors, it will move. If it's not vectors, text, it won't move. And it copies and pastes, which I think is just a great, great workflow. So there you go. Knock yourselves out. An easy way of getting your Illustrator drawings from Illustrator into Reflow using nothing more than simple copy and paste.